Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Dark to be joined by Frank Smith here in London at the press conference for Chris Eubank Jr. against Conor Ben. Does that really whet the appetite with just a couple of months to go? A hundred percent. You know, it's a fight a long time. It's been spoken about for a long time. Um, you know, we've been working on it for a while now and it's, uh, it's, it's a big occasion. You know, it's bigger than I thought it would be. You know, when you when you when you so close to these things sometimes you don't quite realize the magnitude of them and you know we've just seen in the in the past few days since this was announced the size of it and the sheer scale of it you know we've uh, i think we're going to be in for a big night on october the 8th and two big names come together but two big names in their own right who have who have built that uh, you know have built their own their own path we're used to seeing the feistiness and that sort of thing from Conor Ben, but maybe, maybe not quite so much from Chris Eubank Jr. Do you see what you saw up there and think there really is a personal edge to this? Yeah, I think so, but at the same time, they're two different people. You know, they're, they're two completely different characters. Conor's quite out there, you know, you hear a lot from him. Um, whereas Chris is not always the biggest of talkers, but I think they both spoke very well today. You know, they both brought their own their own side to it. Um, and I think, you know, it's going to be a spicy build-up, you know, because it does mean a lot to them, you know. Whether they dislike each other, you know, there's something there. There's been something there for years before even they were born. So it's only natural that it follows through. And when people, when you hear someone say something about your family, you know, like what they were saying up there today, he said, I'm going to do this to your dad, I'm going to do... Like, that stays with you. Um, so, you know, I think there's... I think we're going to be in for a real big build-up. This fight bring a, a slightly different audience to design. You've obviously the fights you put on, and we've seen YouTube fighting in, in a couple of weeks' time as well. But does this bring a slightly different audience to the, to the table? Yeah, look, I think it resonates with all audiences, whether that's 15, 20 year olds, all the way through to 50, 60, 70 year olds who watched the dads back in the day. Mm. You know, both of these guys are big social media stars. They've been followed for a long time, and they've sort of they've been brought up in the limelight, haven't they? So. Um, you know they've always they've always been big and out there, um, and I think yeah this is going to deliver a huge audience to the zone because as I say it delivers across all those age age ranges, um, and I think we're going to be in for some big numbers. You said a, a fight of a generation, one of the biggest fights in British boxing. Do you really put it up there with the likes of the big AJ fights, the big Fury fights? Do you think it brings the same numbers as that? Yeah, look, I don't think there's many bigger fights that can be made. Especially like present day, it's hard to compare every fight over the last 30, 40 years. But like AJ Fury is probably the one that's big. Like but this fight is huge. This fight is massive because both the guys. There's the question mark: Who's going to win? Each of them have done their own things that show they could deserve to win. You know, each of one guy's coming down in weight that he's never done that weight in years and years. One guy's going up nearly two weight divisions. You know. Uh, 10 pounds you know so I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a huge event by the time it comes around we've already seen the exposure it's got on all these mainstream media whether that's BBC Channel 4 or ITV it's going to be everywhere um, so you know I think it has the opportunity to be huge from a personal point of view how much was a challenge how much was it a challenge to put this fight together and get them in this position where they are just a couple of months away from the fight look it's been a yeah, look I won't lie it's been a lot of work I've, I've I feel like I'm in a relationship with Callis Allen currently with the phone calls I've had with him I've spent hours every night it's been you know laying in bed with my missus here on the phone to Callis Allen saying certain things and then look at her and she's giving me the eye um but I think it's a proud moment because it's a massive fight. We saw what happened 30 odd years ago, 32 years ago, and then the rematch. Uh, that was a huge moment, and so to be involved in an event of this magnitude, like it's you know it's, it's, a, it's a great moment. It's taken a lot of work, a lot of effort. Um, so you know, it's it's good, and it, but it's going to be an interesting build-up. Sure, the misses might give me a, f a few more eye rolls in the next two months. So I'm quite looking forward to October 9th. Callison's very keen on getting some Wasserman versus matchroom fights on the undercard. Is there any fights that you would have in mind for that? Or? Yeah, look, we're going to work through it now. We've got some discussions in the next week. You know, our main focus was getting this done, getting this across the line, and then we, everything moves on to what's next, and that's the undercard. You know, we, it's not the first time we've worked together. We've done a lot of business with uh, Sal at the Salans and Wasserman Boxing, and it's great to be, you know, it's a pleasure to be working with them. So um, I'm sure there's a lot, a lot to be done and, you know, a lot of fights that can be delivered there. In terms of being this on this being on his own pay-per-view, obviously that was a huge decision from yourselves. Was it, is it a risk at all putting it on pay-per-view? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. You know, this fight deserves pay-per-view, and you know, if it was on any other platform, it would be pay-per-view. So you know, it's a massive occasion. We said about it there. When in comparison to other boxing events, 
it's in line with those that have been on pay-per-view and even bigger than many. In terms of numbers you're looking for from this, I mean, would there be a, a number you would be looking for, to get out of this sort of fight? Uh, look, I think it can deliver huge numbers. You know, whether that's seven, eight hundred thousand pay-per-view buys, I think it, I think it's got the ability to do that. Maybe even more. You know, it's we just we've seen the the excitement it's generated. So, you know, it's our job now to go out there. Our job with the zones, Wasserman Boxing, all of us, and the fighters to go out there and, and deliver a huge promotional plan. And uh, you know, we've got two months to do that. Just ten days away or so from AJ Usyk too. Does the confidence grow now that you believe AJ can get the job done? Yeah, look, 100%. I've, I've seen a lot of him the last few weeks. He looks in unbelievable shape. He's dedicated himself, not just the last 12 weeks of training camp, but for 9, 10, no, well, 11, 12 months nearly since that September defeat. His focus has been solely on one thing, on defeating Alexander Usyk. And looking at him, looking at the camp he's been through, the team around him, you know, he's in a great place. It's a hard fight. Alexander Usyk's a fantastic fighter, but I truly believe AJ can go in there, do the business, and become a three-time heavyweight champion of the world. Just going back to Chris Eubank Jr. just before I forget, he said 60% is all he's going to need for this fight. Do you believe him when he says that? Um, I, uh, I don't... I think... I think both of them are going to have advantages and disadvantages because... Chris is coming down to a weight, as I said, that he hasn't been in a long time. That is going to bring him down. But Connor, at the same time, is coming up 10 pounds, something he's never done before in a fight. So, you know, you, 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 they've both got strengths and weaknesses here. You know, maybe it's a bit of being facetious, you know, like I don't need, like I could beat him at 50%. But that's what he believes. I think, I think Chris believes it's an easy fight against Connor Ben. But Connor Ben believes he can go in there and knock him out. So it's going to make for some great fireworks and I can't wait I think it's going to be a 12 round war personally I can't wait couldn't agree more cheers for your time Frank thanks very much mate good to meet you